If you're new around here, this is going to be a little bit different of a video. Um, I'm kind of between projects here in the garage where we typically are doing woodworking and shop building like things. And there's going to be a ton more of that to come. But while I'm kind of between stuff, I thought um, maybe we'd try something a little different and do kind of like a weekend vlog type of situation. Um, I got to make some campfire chili this weekend. So I figured I'd just bring you guys along. I get a lot of uh, DMs and comments that are just asking like, where's the next video? What are you up to? Like we'd watch whatever you're doing. So this is a chili recipe that has been around for, I don't know, about five years now. It started as uh, one of my best friends had a chili cook off at work and now my wife now works at that company. And so it's sort of a evolution on that recipe there. I was watching the deal guy on YouTube. Uh, I like his Costco videos. Jordan and I used to watch them all the time at work. He recommended these Fisker like branch lopper things. I didn't have a good pair, um, so I bought them a couple days ago and we're gonna try them. I don't know if they'll be any good. Ooh. Beautiful. Okay. Good bit of oil in the pan. Learn that it's unlevel. So if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen me make some chili in the past. Uh, it's pretty much the same recipe. There's sort of a loose guideline as to how I make it. Um, there's a couple of kind of key factors. Um, but the rest of it, the beauty of chili is it's kind of just whatever's in the cabinet. So I pretty much just keep all the canned stuff that I use for it on hand at all times in our basement. Uh, and then it's just a combination of kind of meat that I have. Today we're doing a mixture of bacon and some beef that I had. Uh, the, it was like chunk stew beef that I bought because it looked good the other day. I've done it with ribeye. I've done it with ground, just regular ground beef. I've done it with breakfast sausage, I've done it with bacon. Um, basically any combination of sort of a really fatty pork or a sausage kind of thing, uh, or bacon in this instance, and some kind of beef. That seems to be kind of the main staple. So I used our KitchenAid and I ground up probably about a pound of beef and a pound of bacon. Uh, and I mixed it together, so I ground everything and then I ground it all through again just to get it all nice and looking good. And now I'm gonna brown it in the pan. Really need to make a longer one of these. Uh, there's a cooking channel called, uh, his name's Kent Rollins, Cowboy Cooking. Uh, he made 
makes and sells something very similar to this. So one day I made one of these out of scrap wood. It's just a hunk of walnut. Uh, it's great for like cast iron stuff. You can just kind of scrape around with it. But I think I need to make like the witch's brew version, like a three foot long one for when we do these campfire cooks. So now the, the meat's mostly brown. It doesn't have to be completely. Uh, this is gonna be hanging out for a while. Get all those juices and everything going. Now we add the veggies. We'll let, stir those in, let those cook down. Look at all that color. Also have a mixture of seasonings. It's like salt, pepper, garlic, onion, um, chili powder, that kind of stuff. Now that everything's sort of getting to know each other, <coughs> including the smoke in my sinuses, we add a little more liquid. A can of regular Costco tomato sauce. And then this is where it gets a little controversial. If you want a nice, thick, delicious chili, V8, the cans of it, if you just put like a six pack of this stuff in it and just let it reduce like three and then in an hour or so put three more, it makes fantastic, thick, rich chili. Do with that as you wish. Traditionally, the recipe uses a Coors Coors Yellow Jacket, uh, just because that's what we used the first time we ever did this. Fire roasted tomatoes. I, you could use fresh diced tomato. I didn't have any, um, and these seem to work pretty good. I tend to drain some of that juice off, um, but not too much. Up until this point, I don't think I've offended anybody. Uh, chili is very controversial. If you ask the people of Texas, they're gonna tell you that chili does not have beans in it. I am gonna put a can of kidney beans in it. I think it's good. Good protein, all that good stuff. Drain off some of that juice, and in they go. Typically, the peppers that I add are jalapenos. Uh, for some reason, the grocery store didn't have any, so I used a Anaheim chili, which isn't as hot. Uh, so I'm gonna add some green chilies that I had a can of. This is another part of, uh, you know, the joy of chili making is that it's sort of just whatever you have around and I happen to have chopped green chilies so I like to do most of the cook with the lid off because I want that smoke flavor to from the fire to roll kind of over it and stir that in. Um, also, always end up with a little bit of ash in it, but that's okay. Uh, it just adds flavor. And then as the liquids reduce down, I've been adding more V8 juice as we go. Uh, I also added some Cholula hot sauce um, I'll add a little more later on or at the very end. And then I also added some lime juice off camera. We're gonna add another, another can of juice. And then I might only add one more. It's almost done.
And unfortunately, that is the end of what I filmed for this video. The chili was delicious, the people enjoyed it. It did not survive more than an hour of the party, but the party was after I ran the Pittsburgh Marathon. I finished that chili, we had to run downtown and pick up our race packets. And then the morning after that, bright and early, we got up and ran Pittsburgh Marathon. I came home, took a nap, and then went to this party. And so in complete exhaustion, I forgot all about filming it. So I apologize for that. But trust me, it was delicious. And it was all a great weekend. I got another marathon medal. I did a PR of three hours and 46 minutes. For those of you that are wondering, uh, we are one step closer now to the ultra marathon 100 mile Leadville 100 that I'll be running at the end of August. So for those of you that have been asking about that, uh, training's going well and life is good. That's all I got for now. I will see you guys in a future video.